So you know how people say, oh, don't have a victim mentality. You know, we're getting gang stalked like crazy, right? We're getting infected. We're getting brutalized, like attacked sometimes, right? We're getting stalked. We're getting stalked on dimensional different levels by demons, not just people in the flesh, right? Formless things that seem to be able to body jump. The black eyes, right? Look at my eyes, they're not covered in all black. And it's not just the pupils going larger. We see this like black demiurgic, some big demon type of thing come over people. I've seen that as well. People caught in gazes, just gawking, right? I mean, Gang stalking means multiple, and, and on multiple levels, not just multiple people, or something, right? And then they have the nerve to have someone in the hive that's attacking you, your target hive, let's call it that, right? Your local target hive, to get one of the organic portals to save you, to get someone to portal around you to say to you, oh, don't be in victim, victim mentality, <laughs> and I like just, ah, oh, makes me so angry because I always like, think, you know, either you're bullshitting and you're completely unconscious of how, you know, it's not just bad things happen in threes, this whole place is just like a never ending fucking nightmare of annoyance for me. People are like, oh, I'm so happy to be alive. Because I think some of these people who are spiritless, to feel the second dimensional comfort of being in a physical body, um, because they're spiritless, they can completely attach to that and become the comfort. You know, it's just so impossible for us. Like, we, we can't sit still kind of thing, in a way, mentally, right? Um, and yet we can, right, we can go into the slipstream and so on, on that level of, uh, on that level of, like, you know, like, plunk length or whatever, or if it's beyond that, that I call slipstream, like, a, a, starsh a starship enterprise, like, in space, you know what I mean, going into, like, slipstream, something like that when you're in your mind and then you drop, you, I mean you feel yourself drop into matter, right? You feel yourself drop into density and touch the edges. And I've just been surfing this morning, that's why my hair is so rugged. I just, I got so many barrels this morning, I felt claustrophobic <laughs> out at the platforms, which is one after another was amazing. A real claustrophobic feeling in the barrel there because it's so heavy really weird feeling because you're like kind of stoked and enjoying it and then you feel claustrophobic because <laughs> it's so crazy barrels anyway um so you know even i feel great now right but then things start happening again on levels and different levels and, and it starts impinging impinging and impounding upon you right and if you are living you know what people call a TI life and you know are your own spirit you're not just uber conforming and so forth you'll get gang stalked and it's not just some community level or something that's not what we're talking about um, this uh, the things that are coming through people are not discussed ever by anyone <laughs> it, it seems it's left up to people like us to discuss that I don't know, maybe other people aren't paying attention, or maybe they're so conformed they don't need to get gang stalked or targeted. Everybody's gang stalked, but not everybody is targeted. And targeting, you know, increases as you hit the edge of this machine world and 
um, you know, its laws and rules and so on, the agents start swooping in, right? Like much like the movie The Matrix, that kind of idea. With whatever beings are coming, you know, swooping in. Anyway, so I just wanted to say I think it's funny um, to that that you always get like told right when a lot of gang stalking happens and it builds up and you snap just after that point they always come in with the guilt trips and and the um the type of uh oh don't be a victim but you literally are a victim you know what i mean but it's the same mentality of like i wield the universe which is ego it's maniac what a maniac to think you know that they wield the universe right like law of attraction and stuff right that's happening but uh on the way that uh they express it like you're wielding this universe and it's not wielding you you know what i mean so when people tell me oh don't be in a victim mentality uh, just every time it makes me like chuckle and laugh and go this person's not not gang stalked wouldn't have a fucking clue Right, and that, that Haley just told me that as well, that Pleiadian mystique. And it's, she was just like on that lower end of the new age stuff. Like, I see, I do see that lower, so if, if that means I'm a, I think I'm above her, then yeah. Because I feel we've passed through that, right. Um, you shouldn't be hanging on that so much. That's not the whole story. You know, you know what I mean? It's, uh... And especially even if you just want to look at it at a whole, it's just one cycle anyway. Right? Age of Aquarius. It's just one cycle anyway. So if that's your depth and your breadth, right, that you're just that cycle, like, new age, you know what I mean? <laughs> Man, it's just like, come on, you know, uh... It's, it's interesting, can't you, can't you see beyond that or, or think beyond that? And that's why I don't, you know, I, I have a lot of attachment to this Andromedan Galactic Enlightenment via Octurian Alignment. But I don't call myself, you know, like Octurian Ben or something, <laughs> right? These are just energies we're channeling. Um, and I think we have to be very careful when we talk about guides and who they are exactly and for instance Pleiadians have been implemented and keep being instigating in in plans I keep seeing and hearing stuff uh, you know that they work with reptilians uh, I don't know if this is under duress and it doesn't seem so I think those those factions exist right and stuff so anyway I don't want to get into all this uh, the starseed star type of stuff, uh, but I just wanted to say I think it's funny when people talk about the victim mentality. Um, I get it, right? And you can be doing it, uh, like overdoing it, but that doesn't mean like they say in a way as don't look at what's just happened to you, kind of thing, um, like. You know, acting like you've done it all, you're responsible for everything. Man, there seems more multiplicity in the world going on around you. <laughs> and especially if, for instance, in our relationship with that girl, uh, Hayley, the Pleiadian Mystique YouTube channel girl, um, who I actually went to high school with, and it was weird we actually finally got together. Very, very strange. I kept saying to her that this is very strange. Um, I don't want to talk about all that too much, but um, she said it to me too. I'm like, well, you literally, you know, all I'm doing is explaining what what you did to me and what happened to me from other directions, not her. And then, like, so I can't even explain, and suddenly I'm just a victim for explaining what's happening. What's happening? Because that's what I'm trying to tell you. You don't wield the universe, it's wielding you. And these people act the opposite way. And she was like very narcissistic. And when it came down to it, 
and it, that's involved in tightening the code was my quote yes you can quote me I said that I made that up it's like uh, some some what necessary for tightening code being narcissistic right tightening yourself up but you can become so tight you become a stiff so to speak right um, so with her I was hanging loose a lot and then just I must have triggered her just by smoking cannabis which was kind of kind of weird because it always triggers people that don't smoke it much you know what I mean and it triggers the the ego right it sets other people's egos off the ego devils off bad and other demons as well anyway I just wanted to say like it's not being victim mentality explaining the situation especially not in gang stalking 